Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are out here doing a little kayak fishing. We are at Grenada Lake. We're ultralight fishing for really just about anything. Um, whatever bites. Not anything really specific today. Catfish, brim, bass, crappie, I don't care. We're running night crawlers and bobbers, a bobber rig setup like we did last time we caught on the channel cats. So hopefully we hook into some fish and we have a good time doing it. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a view where I'm currently at and we'll just see what happens. So here's what I'm kind of currently looking at. We're off in one of these co mini coves here at Grenada Lake. There's my bobber They're floating around. It's having a good old time. Also, if you guys are ever wondering how to keep worms alive for a long period of time, I've been using the sandbox worms for about four weeks now, if not five. And all you gotta do is take and sprinkle a little bit of yellow cornmeal on top. Put them in the very bottom of your door and your fridge, and they'll keep, you know. So, as long as your fridge isn't too cold and it freezes them. But these, these worms that I'm using right here are about four weeks old. And let's see if I can get them open. And they are very much so, well, I say they're still alive. They're still alive, I promise. They were moving earlier. Yeah, see, they're moving. Oops, if you can see that. Yeah, they're moving. Just not very much. They're probably on their last leg, but, I mean, they do. They are alive. So, you see them moving there. Thought for there for a second they were gonna make a liar out of me. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to fishing and we're gonna see what happens. Well, guys, I messed up. I messed up real bad. If uh, you can't tell, there's something missing right there. That would be the uh, the rest of my fishing rod. It's the downside of a two piece ultralight fishing rod or any two piece rod is a uh, the chance of if the line breaks, the piece of the rod that that piece of rod can disappear and uh so i'm gonna have to get out of the kayak i think i heard it land up here on the bank hopefully i can find it if not i guess my fishing adventure for a while is done because i can't really afford to replace it right now with everything else i've got going on as far as ultralight fishing i'm out my cat fishing rod so i can still do that but i don't have it with me it's in the truck so we'll just have to see what happens i'm hopefully gonna be able to find it if not I guess it'll be a while before I do some ultralight spinner rod fishing because I can't afford to replace it right now. And when I do replace it, if I lost it, it will be with a one piece. No more two piece rods for me. I mean, I've always heard the horror stories and stuff like that. I never had it happen, but it's happened now. Hopefully, I can find it. Well, guys, I spent probably between me, and my fiance, looking for it. We probably spent an hour all together looking for it, and I can't find it. Can't find it. It either landed somewhere I can't seem to see it up on this bank full of sticks or it landed in the water and I just can't find it. So she went back fishing. I'm kind of cruising the bank still looking for it. Hoping I guess I see it, but I guess I'll just have to buy a new rod, put that reel on it. Buy a one piece rod. I'm not buying a two piece rod. I'm buying a one piece rod. And, uh, I guess that's gonna be it. I mean, she catches some fish, I'll try to show you guys, but it's pretty much it for my day. Losing part of that fishing rod kind of ends it for today, but it's a humbling experience. You learn it living and you learn. So, yeah. All right, well, we'll see if I can find her. All right, guys, so I decided I wasn't going to give up. I'm going to attempt to fish with just this little, little section of rod. And we're going to see how it goes. I can kind of cast it, so maybe we'll catch something. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny. But, you know, adapt and overcome. I mean, there's, there's no sense in not fishing. I'm already out here. And I still have the ability to do something. So we'll see how it goes. Well, guys, we're going to call it a day. We didn't catch any fish. You know, I had that mishap with the rod. Now the kayak's all loaded up on the truck. We're going to get out of here. Y'all stay frosty. Hope you enjoyed the video. I didn't really. Kind of ended up sucking for me. 
Y'all stay frosty, and I'll see you next time.